Amidst the fast-changing world, our mission remains, communicating the message of Jesus Christ's unchanging love for all to hear. To share with us the latest updates on the work of Far East Broadcasting Company Philippines, along with stories of real lives transformed through faith in God, let us welcome Dan Andrew Kura here on The President's Report. I always think of uh, Hebrews 11, I think it is, where this the, the scriptures that talk about uh, the heroes of the faith in those days, and I think there should have been one written for today because uh, there are many people that would be mentioned in that, and I think of Livingston and of Stanley and of Hudson Taylor in China, uh, and I feel that for sure Bob would have been included in that list of heroes of the faith. That was Dan Hallam in 2014 when he shared his recollections upon the passing of his close friend and ministry partner, FEBC founder Robert Bob Bowman. A couple of weeks ago, we received the sad news that Dan Hallam, the last remaining founding father of FEB Canada, also went home to be with the Lord on January the 25th at the age of 98, according to his family. But knowing his lifetime of faithful service to the Lord, we find comfort in what Jesus said in John 11, verses 25 to 26. I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. About five years ago, Dan endured a stroke, but uh, even in his advanced years, he still welcomed updates from FEBC fields from around the world through letters and issues of FEBC's corporate newsletters with renewed interest and appreciation every single time. As one of the founding fathers of FEB Canada, Dan Hallam is certainly one of the key persons in the history of Far East Broadcasting Company. FEB Canada plays a vital role in FEBC's uh, international ministries. As a support country, the FEB Canada team with the help of their ministry partners, supply prayer, financial assistance, equipment, staffing, and program production for the missionary radio stations around the world. As a matter of fact, FEB Canada continues to support our radio station in South Cotabato, 1062 DXKI AM. Today, do join me as we turn the pages of history in remembrance of the life and legacy of Dan Hallam in his service to the Lord through the ministry of FEBC in the country of Canada. I am your friend Dan Andrew and welcome to this episode of The President's Report. In 1953, five years after Far East Broadcasting Company, or FEBC, began broadcasting from the Philippines, FEBC founder Bob Bowman got in touch with his Canadian friends who are members of the Rock of Ages Quartet to help promote the work of FEBC in Canada. The Rock of Ages Quartet is a Vancouver-based musical group composed of Gordon Brand, Ernest Enns, Arthur Uren, and Dan Hallam with pianist Rowley Hill. During that time, the quartet was well known in Western Canada for its missionary musicals and radio broadcast, enabling them to quickly establish a following in churches across the country. As the promotional efforts in Canada grew, so did the number of Christians who became aware of the missionary radio work called FEBC. In 1964, Rock of Ages Quartet member Gordon Brand was appointed as the first board chairman of the Far East Broadcasting Associates of Canada, or FEB Canada, which was then incorporated as a non-profit charitable organization. Then, nine years later in 1973, Dan Hallam succeeded Gordon as chairman and served in that leadership role for 25 years. A substantial number of radio ministry initiatives were financed during Dan's 25 years as chairman. 
Under his direction, several full-time missionaries were appointed to work as program producers or technical personnel in different ministry fields. In 1984, the Canadian ministry ventured to establish a Chinese programming presence in Vancouver. They wanted to provide a safe haven for the Chinese ministry which was directly affected by the political situation in that part of the world. At that time, they did not know if the Chinese authorities would allow FEBC to continue broadcasting. In 1989, they opened recording studios in Scarborough, Ontario, specifically for Chinese language program production. Now, it was also during his leadership that the massive Southeast Asia Voice of Evangelism, or SAVE, shortwave project began in the Philippines in the 1980s. This was a multi-million dollar project with the goal of replacing old broadcast equipment with new antennas and transmitters to uh, ensure stronger radio signals in the area of Southeast Asia. These uh, broadcast structures still stand today in our shortwave transmitting site in Bukawe, Bulacan. In September 1998, Dan Hallam stepped down as chairman and was uh, succeeded by Don Fairholm. Now, as Chairman Emeritus, Dan Hallam continued to devote himself to serve in the ministry of FEBC by attending annual friendship dinners and board meetings. Now, as quoted in uh, the 50th anniversary issue of uh, FEB Canada's uh, broadcast news magazine, Dan said, We began this work with one dollar in the bank, and now we are out giving even our neighbors in the South. By faith, God has blessed our Canadian ministry, and I'm still very passionate about donating money and giving of my time. For us in FEBC, Dan Hallam also deserves a spot in the list of the heroes of faith because of how he remained faithful to the Lord and his calling. Beyond his musical talent and leadership skill, he embodied the compassion that Jesus Christ has for those who are lost and in need of a Savior. We praise God that Dan Hallam has lived a full life walking alongside the Lord. Thank you so much for tuning in to our program. This has been your friend Dan Andrew for The President's Report. And as always, do stay safe and God bless you. You've just listened to The President's Report. To learn more about Far East Broadcasting Company Philippines or to support us through prayer and other means, visit our website at febc.ph and find FEBC Radio on Facebook. Thank you for your partnership and God bless you.